What's up, y'all? It's Dan. Uh, today I'm going to be making a video kind of talking about the future of Deep Woken, uh, the state it's in, what I think comes next. So in the past, pretty obvious, I've been a big critic of the game. Uh, I've always called out things I didn't like, game-wise, community-wise, etc. But I'm actually going to be spreading some positivity today. And this is kind of a hot take, but personally, aside from the lack of content, I think Deep Woken is now in the best state it's ever been in. And let me explain that. All of the issues that Deep Woken currently has, such as balancing issues and a lack of content, are all things that can be and are being fixed right now through future updates. Fundamentally, the game is really solid. The leveling system, while annoying at times, is fun and rewarding. You are able to make unique, exciting builds every time you play the game, or at least most of the time. Lord knows the RNG isn't that fun. There are fun, exciting areas, like the Depths, Primadon, etc, etc. For a lot of us players who've been playing since launch, the game is boring. But fundamentally, it is a good game. We do have to recognize that someone who maybe saw my video and started playing Deep Woken right now would have a lot of things to explore and do. Right? At the core, this is a good game. Another thing that you have to give devs the credit for is the way they've balanced attunements. In a lot of games like this, you'll see uh, there's a best weapon class, there's a best magic, two or three meh magics and weapons, and then two or three that you just never use because they're completely irrelevant. But Deep Woken's done a good job of keeping everything viable. Every attunement, every weapon, etc. Every build is viable with the right cards, with the right player. You can make it work. And you have to give devs credit for that because it's not easy to balance a game that way. It's actually incredibly hard. Another thing that I would like to give the devs credit for, and I think that we should acknowledge as a community, is that they have listened to us and done as we asked. We didn't like how hard progression was, we got trial of one. Every time we, oh this move is too OP, it needs to be changed, the devs went ahead and helped with that. They definitely are listening, so we need to give them props for that, because I, it's easy to just, uh, you know, get caught up in the, well, this sucks, that sucks, why is this so OP, yada yada, devs don't know what they're doing. I've fallen into that trend too, but uh, they really have done a good job of listening to our complaints and trying to make the game the best it can be. Now, what do I see coming next? Uh, as many other YouTubers have said, this next update, Layer 2, needs to be perfect. Um... A lot is riding on this. A lot of players, including myself, are waiting for Layer 2, waiting for extra continents, extra luminants. This is something that's been talked about in the testing phase. Other YouTubers have brought this up. And with the state of the game now, which again, is solid, just lacking in content. If this update is a failure, it potentially could put uh, Deep Woken in the downward spiral that it just... It's going to take many, many great updates to pull out of. It could... See, the th let me make an example. Trial of One helped with making progression much, much easier. But it also destroyed the uniqueness of progression, right? Instead of going to Arisia and, you know, interacting with the map and other players, maybe getting jumped, right? Doing unique things every time. You go to Trial of One, all solo. Then you run over to Song, PV, right? While it was a good update and it made progression better... It also took away a lot of the uniqueness that actually made Deep Wogan special, which was that open world adventure where you're pretty much at risk at all times. So if this dungeon update, if this layer two, if it creates a system where you can play the game and you farm in the depths without ever having to be at risk of getting jumped, you never have to explore the map or really be out on your own, I could see that working against the game right these new dungeons these new areas they have to be fun they have to be exciting they have to be unique but they also have to fit the flow of the game right more and more especially starting with trial of one it it's taken away from the openness of it right on release on the earlier versions of the game it felt like you know you're exploring the world you're always in danger you could be jumped you could go jump people monsters could show up at the worst time 
now you can more or less play the game without ever touching the overworld. You're not gonna get jumped. You're essentially playing the game. It's like a solo let's play. You're not interacting with other people, except for when you're 1v1-ing them for the two or three minutes that that takes. Another thing that I would like to start is I'd like to start making um, community idea videos, right? Highlighting some of the things that the community likes to see. Because at the end of the day, I do have a platform. I do have a voice. While the mod staff doesn't like me, confirmed by the way, don't kind of lie, I do have a voice, right? If I make a video on something, it's more likely to be heard by those mod members or by the developers. Just because the video going to get around due to my popularity. So please, DM me on uh, Discord. Leave it in the comments. I'd love to hear your guys' suggestions. I'd love to hear what you guys want to see. I'll make videos on it. I'll shout you guys out. We can open a discussion about it. Get more ideas flowing. Hopefully see these things added to the game. Because... Like I said, they do listen to us. So if we get enough traction, we could definitely see some uh, community-driven ideas added into the game. Another thing that I would like to say to all of those who are, uh, I guess, just fed up with exploiters. Make me head mod. I'll, uh, I'll fix that real quick. Dan VR for head mod. Don't let them forget. Anyways, back to what I was saying. I don't know what the fuck that was. I do see there. there's hope for this game. There's definitely hope. But if this next update fails, or even if it doesn't live up to the hype, it's going to take a lot of catching up to fix that. Alright, y'all. Peace.